So when you are working on a Chromebook, you usually are interacting with your files through Google Drive and via the web. However, you can, in fact, save files to your Chromebook and do things with those files while you are on your Chromebook, and they're actually saved on that particular device. So I wanted to show you some of the things to look out for when you are doing that. So here I'm going to... Uh, create a file to save. So I'm going to download this. I'm going to download it as a PNG. What happens is it downloads this into onto my actual Chromebook. And what always happens when you download something is it pops up in the corner. It says, hey, I downloaded this for you. It shows you a little preview sometimes if it's an image. Now it says show in folder. That's one of the options. If you want to look at this right away, then go ahead and say show in folder and it's going to open up your files. However, I wanted to show you how you can access your files without that shortcut, just in case you want to find them later. So whenever you want to find files that are downloaded on your Chromebook, you search for the files app. I'm going to open that up. Here it comes, there we go. And uh, what's really nice about this folder is that it starts off with Google Drive, which means you can access all of your Google Drive files from here and open them directly from this file finder. Um, it shows you all your folders and you can work with it just like you would within Google Drive. However, the thing I wanted to share that's different is down at the bottom, it says downloads. Downloads is where anything you download from the internet onto your device end up. So here's that thumbnails that I downloaded. I'm going to double click on that so you can see what it looks like. Here we go. So there's my thumbnails. I can change the name of it if I wanted to. So files on Chromebook. And uh, I can print from here if I have cloud printing set up and uh, I can add it to a slideshow if I want to because it's an image. So that's where my file ended up and ended up in the downloads folder. On your particular device, you can add additional folders. I will say, though, that I don't have a lot of things on my device because more often than not, I am wanting to access it anywhere. So I want it to be in my drive. When you download something to your Chromebook, you can always click and drag it over into your drive. You can add it directly into your drive or into one of your uh, subfolders. I'm going to put this one in my Google subfolder. So that's how we can move them up into our drive. What's important to note, though, is that it just copies it. So that thing will always be on the Chromebook. If you don't want it to be saved on the Chromebook, you click on it, right click on it, you have a few different options. Um, one of the options is to open with, if you have associated apps, you can choose to open it with gallery, which is just the image viewer, or I have an app that lets me edit images. And so I can also open it directly with that. You can have any file type that you want on your Chromebook. And um, so I have a video file here and I also have a PDF. One thing that's kind of cool about videos is that if you download a video directly onto your Chromebook, you can actually watch it on the Chromebook. I'm going to open this one up so you can see how that works. So this is a video I had created using Screencastify, which is what I'm using right now, actually. You can see the video is just running directly on my Chromebook in that new window there, which is kind of cool and handy uh, for your students if they download something and they want to watch it and make sure it's good before they upload it into their drive. There's my lovely Frogger cars. All right, so um, I mentioned folders earlier. You can add folders. If you right click anywhere in your downloads, one of the options is new folder. You can add that new folder. I'm just going to leave it called new folder. And uh, you can save things within those folders. You 
use files on your Chromebook just like you would on any other device. You can drag and drop them and look at them in their new folder. You'll notice that when you have folders on your device, they show up under downloads, so you can expand and collapse them by using that arrow. If I go directly to new folders, I can see that. Images, I have an image saved there. And uh, downloads lets me see all of the things. Now, just to give you another example of what you might see, um, PDFs are a big deal. Usually you're looking around online and you find this great PDF. And so that's what you want to download and you want to save it so that you can access it later on. So I'm going to search for a, a PDF. There we go. I had already searched for it earlier about the solar system. When I open up that file, first it's just going to open it up for me online so I can access it and see if it's any good. I picked a big one. All right. So one of my options up at the top is download, just like when you're on your computer. And I'm going to download that onto my device. I have the option to rename the file, and so it opens up my file finder right away and lets me rename it before it puts it into that file finder. So right now it's named all that big stuff, so I'm going to call it Solar System. And I can move to another folder or make a new folder at this point if I want. I'm just going to save it in my downloads. And again, just like when I downloaded the image, it's going to give me a shortcut. Do you want to look at it already? Yes. And that will open up my files so I don't have to go into my apps to find that. So now I can see it right away in my folders. If I open up that PDF, it's going to bring it into Chrome and I'm going to be able to look at it from there. It's not actually saved in Chrome, it's just using that as the PDF viewer and so I can look at it from there. Uh, when files are activated, you'll find them down in their doc so you can just click down there. It's not until you actually close the window that that will go away and you'll have to search for it again. And just a reminder, if you want to now, I really like this and I want my teammates to be able to see this, I can always drag and drop it into my drive and then I can interact with it on Google Drive no matter where I'm at and I can share it with my teammates or uh, link it to another Google Doc and so on and so forth. That's pretty much it for managing files on your Chromebook. There's really not a lot to it. Again, you see, I don't have a lot on my Chromebook because I put most of my things in my drive so that I can access them anywhere. But this is how you get those downloads and you pull them into your drive too. Hopefully that was helpful.